Good morning guys, today is Wednesday. I'm working from home today and then I'm going out tonight with my sister. Good news is we just got the internet installed, the Virgin guy, they said they'd come between eight and five and he came and he's done it and it's really fast. Thank God this guy called like John in the UK office, somehow like we got through to him and he helped us out. They were meant to be coming in November and he somehow bumped us up the list. I don't know how, but thank God, because now I can just sit here and work and it's amazing to just have the internet. So I promise no more internet complaining from me around here. We had an Ocado delivery yesterday, if you saw my Snapchat, so the fridge is nice and full. We're still kind of getting used to what we want to buy and stuff, but I had breakfast this morning and I had some yogurt and raspberries and honey, which is there, and this stuff, Oh, I love this stuff. This is by a brand called Biona, which I love their spelt pasta. Granola, honey, hazelnut, whole grain, no beet or cane sugar. Like you guys know I'm not like a health freak, so I just thought this would taste nice because it's got honey and hazelnut in it. And it that's actually the granola inside, by the way. It tastes delicious. I'm a bit obsessed with it. Look how good these little like wire things are that have stuck on my desk. I love that, so organized. By the way, to the girl that commented on my bathroom cabinet video saying, just to let you know, you can turn your extractor fan off and keep the light on. Thank you. I wish you were around before I filmed that video. I've just realized that we have a button up here for the extractor fan. So as I go into the bathroom to vlog, peaceful and quiet and I really wish that it would have been this peaceful in that video. Because internet man was here and I've been like faffing about doing work. Oh god our mirror is so dirty. Um, I haven't done my morning skincare routine now so I've just cleansed my face with um, cotton wool pads and micellar water and I'm gonna, you remember I showed you guys this is where I keep products that I'm like trying out. I'm gonna be trying this one from L'Occitane. This is their Precious Cream and it's an itty bitty tiny sample. I love when samples come in like little packaging rather than sachets because I always find once you open a sachet it's quite hard to use it more than once so this is really cute. My friend Gemma would absolutely die for this like miniature thing. So this is one of their moisturising creams and I'm going to give it a go. This little sample will last seven days so I can do like a whole trial for a week. Ooh I really like this. Oh, it's like really, really moisturising. Oh my god, you know when you just feel like your skin needs something? My skin is like drinking this up. Mmm, that's really nice. I love the smell. I love the smell of Loxy hand products. My mum has always used them, so I feel like it's a really familiar brand to me. And I obviously really got into their shower oil quite a few years ago. But it's just one of those brands, you know when your mum uses a brand, you know you can trust it. It's a lovely French brand. Mm. So I just rubbed that all into my skin. And I'm going to give this a go every morning and night for a week to see how I get on with it. And the reason I am trying this one specifically is because L'Occitane have this like interactive online tool. Let me take you into my office so I can show you what I mean. Basically, this is what it looks like on their website. So they have four different creams to suit different skin types. And I think this is a really good idea because I personally think it's really hard to know kind of which products are aimed at your type of skin. And it's much easier, I find, when people are asking you questions about your skin. If someone says, does it feel tight? And you can say yes or no. It's much easier to know what sort of skin you have that way. So basically, this is like a really quick questionnaire. And so I'm gonna show you guys now because I've already done this. Press start. And then it said, just between us, what's your age group? <gasps> oh, I'm in the 25 to 35 bracket. I remember the day that I went up a bracket that was not fun 25 35 next and then asks how would you describe your skin so i put dry my skin's quite dehydrated and it can be quite dry and then it asks what are your two main skin concerns so dullness and lack of radiance is always something that's a concern of mine and then i put early signs of aging because you know i think you need to start the anti-aging thing a bit early on so i'm gonna put those two as mine and then that's all you need to do it's like really really quick and then it picks the right cream for you so Mine says your recommended product is precious cream, firming and lifting. Ideal for tackling the first signs of aging skin, the silky cream is formulated with skin firming, immortal plant extracts to help reduce the look of fine lines and wrinkles, the skin that ultimately looks smoother and more supple. I definitely want smoother and supple. And then it basically has a little form that you fill out. So you put your first name, last name, your email address and your location. And what that bit does, it means that you can go and pick up your seven day trial, like your little sample from your local L'Occitane store. That's the bit that I think is really good. So then you go in, you get one of these, and it's the one that's suited to your skin type because you've already filled out the questionnaire. 
and then you can try it for a week. So that's basically what I'm doing. I think it's a genius idea. And this was the first time I tried it just now on camera. I really like it. My skin feels really soft. I like the whole plumping, firming idea. I think that is the kind of the key to non-aging skin. And it's super hydrating, which my skin needs, like the weather's got so much colder in the UK and I can feel my skin just drying out. So if you're wondering what moisturizer to get to suit your specific skin type, I will leave the link to the online interactive tool down in the description box. It's completely free service, the sample's free, so you don't have to pay for anything. So go and check that out if you're interested. Me and Rich are trying to get really good at making loads of food for dinner and then putting it in like Tupperware and freezing it. So we have like food, well especially for me if I need lunch. So I'm eating chilli that we had the other night. I'm gonna heat it up, maybe have it with a bit of rice or maybe just by itself. And it's quite nice really, I don't have to make lunch. It's already made. Ooh, then I'm gonna set up our TV because obviously it's a smart TV, but we haven't had internet. So I haven't been able to do anything on it. Now I can watch YouTube and Netflix and that's pretty damn exciting. I'm just gonna sit and do some work ooh, this afternoon and then I'll get ready to go out tonight. Tonight we're going to a Made in Chelsea event. I got offered a plus one and I actually really do like Made in Chelsea but my sister really likes it so obviously I wanted to go and take her with. It's a screening, I think, of next season. I'm sure the last one only just finished, so I don't know how that works, but I'm, I'm excited. I think it'll be really, really fun. Nice thing to take my sister to. And it's at the Hamyard Hotel, which is one of my favorite London hotels. I'm just gonna take some blog photos, and I'm really loving this lens for blog photos at the moment. It's the Canon uh, 40 millimeter lens. And yeah, it's quite like zoomed in, but I really like it. It's just really crisp. It's nice on a white background. I still haven't got ready, but it's all right, I've got a couple of hours. I'm actually just browsing YouTube, trying to find some inspiration because I just feel a bit bored of making the same kind of videos at the moment. The next two videos I've got going up are really different and I'm excited for those. I'm just trying to like plan ahead for like the end of the month and just trying to think of what to film really. So I'm trying to find some inspiration online. Okay, I've curled my hair a little bit. Um, I'm trying to book in for a haircut. My hairdresser that I usually use is away for the month, so I'm trying to find another one. I really, really need a haircut. I'm going to do my makeup now. Okay, makeup, hair done. I now need to get out of my uh, Mickey Mouse t-shirt and tracksuit bottoms, figure out what to wear. As you can tell, we still haven't got bedside tables. Um, my son's quite like my box, though. <laughs> um, what to wear? Boots. I don't know, my boots are in there. Black jeans some kind of top and bag. Okay, I'll show you what I'm wearing tonight, just a bit like a man as, you, as usual, but that's how I like it. This top is from Urban Outfitters, um, polo neck. This is from River Island, like two years ago. My Sophie Hulme bag, which I haven't worn since last autumn. Black Jamie jeans from Topshop. My favorite Steve Madden boots that I need to find in black. Lots of rings and the kind of dark berry lip. This is Love Liberty, Charlotte Tilbury, my fave. I'm just waiting for my sister to get here. Oh, I just put on Molecule One perfume. I love the scent. Definitely an autumn scent. I haven't worn it in ages. And then we're gonna go. I'm just having fun with these new like Snapchat filter things. <laughs> if you're not already following me on following me on Snapchat, I'm just Lily Pebbles on there. I rather like Snapchat these days. I've got a new phone. It's not the 6S. It's the 6. But the battery is just so much better than my old phone. I feel like I can actually Snapchat now. Desperately trying to find a case though, because I feel like I'm going to drop this thing. Um, but I haven't like been into town or anywhere yet, so I need to get a case. I'm in town now with my sister, and we're going to go find somewhere to eat. We've got about an hour before we need to go to the Hamyard Hotel for the screening. And yeah, I'm pretty, feeling pretty hungry. I just ran to Anthropology to get some doorknobs for a cupboard that we're getting built tomorrow, and now we're like hot and sweaty in my polo neck. We're just waiting to go in. I'm trying to control Jojo because she's fangirling so much and it's embarrassing me. She just made me take a photo, let me show you. Look, she could actually be in the show, that's so funny. Are you excited by any chance? <laughs> Okay, because of Jojo's ridiculous fangirling, the PR's gone to get Jamie Spencer. That's what Jojo's requested. She's blaming this on me. What she really wants to say is she's the Jamie no, fan. No, no, get off. And I'm just like, 
she's requested Jamie and Spencer come and I said well I like Lucy so they're gonna get them all I'm gonna have a little picture together which is hilarious so Jamie's here uh, what's that Lily Pebbles right we want to know is that really awkward watching that all sitting next to each other I mean is that super awkward yeah I go. mean what am I meant to say is no it's not awkward of course it's awkward yeah. and you watch yourself back and even what awkward is that in some scenes you look at something and you're like did that really look like that like yeah. magic but why are you so, not with her I don't know <laughs> Here you go. Ah, <laughs> uh, my. Uh, yeah, yeah, she couldn't. Yeah, Jamie, there are young girls watching this. I'm joking. Uh, I'm so joking. Are you no, I'm not interviewing. I'm just vlogging. Oh, sorry. I, I'm so sorry. I'm like one by one by one. I was just saying, is it not really awkward watching that all together? Yeah, I uh, no, not anymore. I love no, that. Do you yeah. Know what? It's, I think it's quite nice because you support one another. I, funnily enough, was actually next to little Sammy, and, and he took quite a few bullets there. Mm. Two yeah. bullets. Are they actually, not the right person. It's half ten now and I've had to peel Jojo away. She's very upset she didn't get a photo of Spencer, okay, but you you've got lots of other photos. She's lying. Jamie Lang, if you're watching this. No, she's not watching this. <laughs> She was asking everyone about their love life, but she knows them. Where's the station? This way. Right, heading home now. I'm home now and just having a cup of tea and catching up on the Great Butcher's Bake Off final because I missed it. And it's 11 o'clock, so it's gonna be a late night, but I really wanna watch it. So I'll see you guys on the weekend when I vlog again. Good morning, everyone. Today is Sunday. It's actually 11 o'clock now. I had quite a lazy morning. I got up at half nine and I've just had breakfast and been getting ready really slowly. The house is a little bit, the flat is a little bit of a mess as you can kind of see in here and I'll take you inside because we're doing a little bit of DIY today. We had these cupboards made to go around the ugly boiler and Rich is currently priming them and then we're gonna have to paint them. I'm thinking at the painting point I'll actually start helping but so far I've been completely useless. <laughs> nice bomb shot. Um, so this is happening right now and the flat is a complete mess because of it. I'll show you guys what I'm currently wearing. Oh look at the mess in there. I'm literally wearing an ASOS baggy grey t-shirt, my jeans and my new trainers which I love. They're from Adidas and they've got velcro. I feel like a kid again. They're so easy to wear. I think my parents are going to pop around with Juno because I miss her. It's been like a few days since I've seen her and she's going to get to see my flat which is very exciting. I think she's going to slip all over the wooden floor. And then we might go for lunch, a little walk around then we need to come back and paint. Hannah left her car at ours yesterday so I'm going to go pick her up. I love that we live close to each other. We grew up next door to each other and now we've both moved out and we live in like five minutes away from each other it's just the most exciting thing ever so I'm gonna go pick her up and then hopefully when we get back Juno will be here because she hasn't met her yet Hannah's here now hello and I'm gonna make her breakfast I promise I said if you come around I'll make some breakfast what do you want yogurt fruit and granola sounds delicious she's an easy customer this is Hannah's breakfast delish she's playing football today so it should help if you win it's all thanks to me it is <laughs> some kind of woodlands because I need to do a bit of filming for my Thursday video hoping it all comes out okay I've been kind of filming bits and bobs this weekend and then I think we're gonna to head to Selfridges and then later on tonight I'm popping in to a bar for my friend Jenny's birthday and then Debs and Paul are coming around for dinner lots going on on a Sunday if you ever need to buy some wine Selfridges wine department is a little bit insane it's amazing and the people here are so helpful as well Whoops. we're now gonna to head to the food hall and they've always got good sample tasters going around there so Okay, see what's, what's on offer. I'm in the Selfridges magazine department and it's so cool to see YouTubers on like all the magazines. So Hannah Hart's on this one. Zoe's on this one. 
It's kind of more the international magazines that are really kind of doing the whole YouTuber on the front cover thing, but I think it's really cool of them. Right, we're just leaving Selfridges and I went a bit crazy in the magazine department. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, my Snapchat username is just Lily Pebbles. Um, everyone always asks me what my username is. It's just Lily Pebbles, the same as everything else. Um, you would have already seen this on Snapchat, so sorry if you have. I thought I'd quickly show you what I got from the magazine department. I got this New York City Guide, which is by a magazine called Serial. And I'm not going to New York anytime soon, but it just looks beautiful and it will make me want to go to New York sooner. I think Keisha's going back next year, so I might make that an excuse to go. I also bought this Brides magazine, and I'm really not one for bridal magazines. I haven't bought one yet because they all just don't look like they're for me. But this one's called Rock and Roll Bride and it just looks kind of alternative and different, a bit more up my street. So I'm looking forward to having a flick through that. I also got a lower magazine. This is a September issue with Jessica Alba on the front, but I always like to pick it up when I'm in Selfridges. And finally, I got Nylon magazine, which has Christian Stewart on the front. She looks pretty cool. It's got something about 2015 Beauty All Stars. So that is our magazine haul. I'm home now, quick change of top, and I'm gonna head to a bar for a very quick drink for my friend Jenny's birthday. And then Debs and Paul are coming round and we're gonna have pizza and X Factor. I've come back to the flat after Jenny's quick birthday drinks and Debs and Paul are here. Hi. <laughs> Tuck it in. Rob and SJ here, hello. <laughs> and we've ordered Domino's pizza, which is very exciting and we kind of missed the beginning of X Factor, which is my fault. I had such a lovely evening with friends and they've all gone home now. I'm gonna end the vlog because I need to start editing this vlog tonight because tomorrow I'm going to Soho Farmhouse for the night. I'm so excited. I'm not sure if I'm gonna vlog yet, but Follow me on Snapchat because I'll probably be Snapchatting and I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. See you on Thursday. <laughs> <laughs>